Some sweet snacks after hours on the road. Evacuees from the rebel-held areas of Ukraine arrived in a convoy of buses to Russia. Yulia left more than 24 hours ago with her three children. How's that been with a small child? It was very hard, unbearable, she tells me. I did it for my children. If it was not for them, we probably wouldn't have left. This is why many did get on the buses. On Friday, a separatist leader told women, children and the elderly to evacuate. He says the decision was made that day because of Ukrainian shelling. But looking at the metadata suggests this video was filmed two days before the flare-up. The West has repeatedly warned that Russia plans to stage a fake crisis to give a reason to attack. The fallout is already real for some, like the evacuees who'll spend the night in this sports hall. Ekaterina and six-month-old Miroslav packed up their lives in hours. She worries that she'll be sent further away from home. We would go somewhere near, but what they are offering, we don't want to go there. We are so tired. We want to sleep, to take shower the basic things for a person and a child. Minds here are on those that stayed. Men have been told they must fight. Many have not been allowed to leave, including Victoria's husband. He wasn't let out, she tells me. I'm very worried. Her daughter asks her, why are you crying? The evacuees have been told it's Ukraine that's trying to start an offensive. It's a baseless claim that's strongly disputed by Ukraine, and many who say that provoking a war while surrounded by thousands of Russian troops would be inconceivable. <laughs> Some are on the move. Sent to the station, handed paperwork to apply for the equivalent of around £100 per person promised by President Putin, and put on a train. So this is the third coach load of families we've seen getting off here in the course of the last 10 minutes. And many on board didn't know where they were going, but we've just been told by the authorities that they're being taken to a city that's just to the east of Moscow, which is more than a thousand kilometers away from here. Some worry that if they were expected to come back soon, they wouldn't be sent so far. But these decisions are in Russia's hands. And as the geopolitical wrangling continues, no one is certain what's planned next. Caroline Davis, BBC News, Taganrog.